say that. Uh, how are you going? I just wanted to um, I probably go over the things that I've already spoken about. Uh, you you, um, you should probably, well you should, it would be good if you could, I don't want to force you into anything, but it would be good if you could practice all the things that we've spoken about. Um, Octaves. trying to do lately, this is a challenge for you, maybe not a big challenge because you're probably very good, not like the rest of us. I try and do this run in the key of C major, notes 5, is that 5? No, it's 3. Three, three, four, flat five, no, I don't know, and five. Yeah. Three, four, flat five, and five. So there's your run in C major. So I try and do it as a, um, a hammer on and a pull off. Look them up. They're in the dictionary. So try that because it's really good for your fingers and it's good for your timing and your control. Now I'll get this probably wrong, but I'll get it right eventually. One, two, three, four. You know that if you can do that, you're getting somewhere. You try it on any string you like, really. just a good way of practicing your your hammer-ons and your pull-offs. Again using every finger including that one. So we did that run which is a lovely lovely run. What I was doing at the very, very beginning, um, as you can tell, I don't really know what to teach you right now. Uh, <laughs> but what I was doing at the very beginning uh, was that... Uh, makes you sound much better than you actually are, which is always good. <clears throat> I 
I used to um, uh, do that run uh, years ago, just to make myself feel better about uh, <laughs> my play, because it's a pretty easy thing to do. We get, we're in C, you can do it in D. And I'm using those three, I'm using the thumb and those two fingers, and I'm kind of uh, picking like that. Okay, like a banjo, kind of. So bang, uh, bang, thumb, uh, middle finger, and index finger. That roll. Just practice it. But you can, with hammer offs and pull ons, you can really um, sound like, um, again, a much better guitarist than you than you actually are by doing this. Um. See the picking? You'll have to slow mow it. I'll do it for you. Instead of picking with them, I was just kind of strumming. So, as so far as the left hand is concerned, it sounds really cool, doesn't it? Um, It's more time than I've got now to actually show you intricately what it is. Um, hopefully you can get it by the diagrams. But what I'm doing here... Excuse me. Is for that part, my thumb is on the G string, the B and the E string only. Go back and forth. the hammer on and then I move my thumb back to the D string and I'm now playing the D, the, the G and the B string. So it starts up here, move down, move my group of down, so from there to there. So then I move them back to there, and I'm with my left hand. So that sounds really good. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you can get that without much more explanation. Uh, yeah, I'm not big on detail, am I? Uh, never mind. Makes you think. I forget, apart from all this practice and all these methodical things that people ask you to do, which, is, which are all pretty good, you know, they all have their merits, I forget to just pick up the damn guitar and play it because you love it, okay, and do whatever you want. So have those sessions where you pick it up and do whatever makes you happy, whatever, at whatever level you're at, doesn't matter. Forget about the practice part of it. Pick up the guitar and play what makes you happy. Okay? Experiment. You must do that every now and again. Don't always practice using what some people call boring methods. Pick it up and just play it. And feel it, enjoy it. And um, that's really important. You know what to do. I'll see ya.